Hi everyone. I'm Jen. I just came home from running around so my cheeks are a little red because it's hot. Here's my Della D. My Della D. Um, and then here's my Mr. Nelson. Hello. Anyhow, I just had another personal Mandela effect change. Um, this one involved someone that I've known for years and he was always Mr. Jones. And when I went to this organization, he works for an organization I, I uh, frequently visit um, almost uh, once a week. And uh, when I went to the um, front office today and asked for, I said his first name, which is a unique name, and then Jones at the end, they, the ladies looked at me funny, but then they figured it out because of his first name. Of course, I didn't know his name had changed, but um, I came home and uh, the paperwork has his last name as Mr. Davis. So, yeah, Mr. Jones has changed to um, Mr. Davis, and what's intriguing about this, it's the first one that's very um, not similar. The two names do not even um, feel similar to me, because when my baby sister's nickname changed, for my whole family, it's always been Misha. That's not what they used to call her. They always called her Mish. And even my baby sister says I'm the only one who called her Mish. She, I come from a reality where my whole family called her Mish, not Misha. So that's another personal one. The online one in our online family, Moneybag76, was... Um, was uh, Sorry, 73. See how I got that switched? And uh, Dead GPK, I feel like I'm screaming at you now because all your letters are capitalized. They used to not be Vanessa, Texas. Not Texas, but hi to her. Uh, Vanessa, Virginia. Um, and then me. My name changed for people. I have always been, from my point of view, Jen's Gems, with the first letters being J and G. But uh, for some of you, even though I'm making this, from my point of view, the same videos, you watched the same videos, but your eyeballs, your perception of reality had me as JJ, Jen's Gems, both with the letter J. So uh, it's just fascinating how I could be talking to you from my point of view as JG Gems Gems while you're listening to a JJ version. But um, anyhow, that was a small percentage of you and I guess you all came over to me? Yeah, you came over to me, I guess. I don't know. But um, I just wanted to say no matter what you are called, it's your essence uh, that's important, right? Just like um, Eli Whitney is uh, no longer a black man and people get upset that uh, depending on your point of view of what race you knew him as whether you're an emir or not I noticed that the argument would frequently um, be divisive again those who knew him as a black man the black emirs would go oh they're um, they uh, are trying to um, whitewash everything. But then the white people who are not emirs and know Eli Whitney, the inventor of the cotton gin, as a white man, uh, they're trying to make everything politically correct and trying to mix up the races. And it's just so ridiculous. The point is, it does not matter what color skin he is. It doesn't matter what our names are. It's who we are, which is what counts. Uh, Eli Whitney, um, according to history, because, you know, <laughs> I cannot even trust history, but supposedly he eased the life of um, many because of his invention. doesn't matter what his skin color is. And uh, Marilyn Monroe, doesn't matter where you know her mole to be or not to be. It's who is she. And then our names. Mr. Jones, Mr. Davis, you're a wonderful man, no matter what you're called. And your essence is consistent throughout the dimensions, and I appreciate that. It makes it uh, much easier 
to relate to and connect with. That brings me to tears. Staying your true self and not following trends means that you no longer have to be tied to specifically scripted realities. That means you can bounce around more easily to wherever you fit in uh, whatever situation if you continue to stay true to be true to be yourself. So I love you and uh, be yourself. Miss you, Robin Williams. Bye.